Um, one thing I didn't mention about Kinux at the factory is what kind of people we have on board. And one fairly uh, interesting and unusual aspect, which I'm quite proud of, is that we cover a wide range of age groups. And uh, included among, among our, union, our members are a lot of teenagers, um, many of which came through one of our sub-projects, which we called uh, the Linux Blondes, Linux Blondes in Cisco, Mexico. Um, the idea with behind Linux Blondes is that there is no <coughs> doubt question about free software, or about Linux, and about using free software and adopting it. Um, actually, yeah, she is here. Uh, one of our youngest member here, uh, Nino Jokunen, is sitting right here. If I remember correctly, Nino, when you first joined us, you were 12, I think. Was it or, or 13? when we met at Linux Day uh, here in Helsinki. I think it was three years ago. Or how old were you back then? If I remember anyhow, she was 12 at the time. Uh, she is going on quite strong. I uh, basically think she's tried just about every Linux distribution on the planet up to now. Uh, she's going on strong. We have another one as well. Uh, I forgot her real name now, but she goes by the nickname on RC Toksaka, and she has also basically tried every distro on the planet, pretty much. She's been tinkering as well with uh, kernel scheduler uh, settings to fine tune the speed of her computers and all. So, uh, through that group, we've developed an amazing pool of skills, um, some of which is being used as well when Linux Active Battery holds the training sessions. And um, so what we're basically trying to achieve, A, is to make Linux more accessible to that Linux only group. We're also trying to educate people into adopting it, showing them, by example, how easy this is. Uh, and nothing speaks better than having an early teen who basically has been capable to install their own Linux distribution fine tune it, use it, and make other friends adopt it at school as well. So I think that's quite an achievement we, we managed to accomplish with our very small team of, if I remember correctly, the latest statistics, uh, Bill, you could correct me on this perhaps, was it that we had three or four members at the last? About, about that. So um, quite a good accomplishment. Then, we we'll really hope to be able to network as well with other similar Linux user groups in other countries and across the, uh, Finland as well, especially in Scandinavia and the Baltics. Um, hopefully to be able to spread that whole idea of accessibility of free software. So, um, this being said, I will reset. Okay. Um, now, uh, one thing I'd like to point out as well is that um, the, well, it, as mentioned earlier by both Brandon and Jaldar, uh, there are Debian derivatives, basically customized Debian distributions to fit specific needs. And we have freebies for you to grab today on the table there. We have CDs from one of the Debian derivatives called Google Zoom. Uh, we have some for ordinary PCs as well as for uh, power PC based uh, computers such as power Macintoshes as well as for other PCs based on AMD chipsets. So please feel free to grab at least one CD on your way out. Uh, there are perhaps. Uh, 